going on, guys? Today we are, um, actually, I'm not exactly sure. We are roughly an hour and a half north of Fort Lauderdale. I uh, got these GPS coordinates from, I guess, another multi-species fisherman. So I just typed them in. It took me here. Uh, he found some bluefin killifish uh, in some like small little puddles and little ditches in this area, along with some Florida flagfish, uh, least killifish, some pygmy sunfish species. So a lot of fish that I've never caught before. So hopefully we can get some of those today. I have somewhat high hopes for the bluefin killifish. I think we could probably get that. But the other ones at the least killifish, the uh, pygmy sunfish, uh, those are probably going to be a little tougher. Don't know if we're going to get those. Uh, the bait of choice today is going to be some live red worms. I got a couple dozen of them. I really probably only need one or two. And we're going to start out fishing that on a small little tanago hook. So micro fishing session. Uh, let's just try to get whatever is in this little ditch. I do see it. It's off to the side a little bit behind some thick vegetation. So we'll try to get back there and let's give it a shot. All right, here's what we're going with, and you can barely see that, but it's a super, super small piece of red worm on a little uh, tanago hook with a split shot. Here is the little ditch. I mean, I could see some micros in there. just don't know what they are, and I really, 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 really hope that it's not just mosquito fish. So let me see if I can find out what this thing is. Oh, just dropped it. Yeah, so right on cue I get my first fish and it is an eastern mosquito fish. So I'm not surprised that I got this one because these are these guys are just overly abundant basically in all fresh water in Florida. But that guy's back. Let's get the worm back and let's try to get something else. And I did just spook a snake over here. I don't know what kind it was, but I'm glad that guy kind of took off. What is this? Fish two is another Eastern mosquito fish. That's really annoying. I hope we can find something else in there and I really, really hope we don't have to go through too many of these to find one of those. Got him. What is this? What? Oh, oh, sweet. What is this thing? Some sort of sunfish. But well, this is a nice one. Is this a dollar? Yeah, let, actually, let's get this guy in the photo tank. All right, so I saw some bigger fish down there. I just didn't know what they were. I really wasn't expecting dollar sunfish. But that, I believe, is what this guy is. Thought it might have been a blue spotted, but it's not. So, fairly certain it's a dollar. So that's an unexpected but pretty cool catch. It's a nice little fish. Alright, so we got dollars, we got mosquito fish, two species that I have caught before, so nothing all that different and exciting. There's a lot of fish down there, they just all look like mosquito fish, there's some larger ones, but, but I think they're just dollars, what is this? Yeah, that's just another mosquito fish. What is this? Is this just a bigger mosquito fish? Yeah, so it's a, it's a big one, 
but still just a eastern mosquito fish. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's a bigger dollar. This, one, this actually might be my PB dollar. Yeah, so this is going to be definitely my PB dollar sunfish. I've never caught a bigger one. These guys don't get to be too big. Uh, but can't believe a fish of this size did come out of that tiny, tiny little ditch. I mean, it's a beautiful fish, but it's not what I'm looking for. Got one. Oh, what is this? What is this? No, I thought it was something different, but it's not. Just another dollar sunfish. So for a second I thought this was a Florida flag fish, but it's not. Just another dollar. Which is an okay catch. Not what I want, but it's better than a mosquito fish. But so far it seems like all we're getting out of here are dollar sunfish and mosquito fish. Ooh, got one. It's another dollar. I mean, this is a very, very pretty fish, but it seems like if I fish the middle or the top of the water column, I get mosquito fish. If I get my bait down to the bottom, I just get these dollars. So not really sure what to do. Might try to find some more access over to the side, because I don't want to just catch these two species over and over. So here we've got another section of that stream. It's, I don't know, maybe 20 yards up upstream. So I was fishing kind of 20 yards down to the right. Way shallower. I could see some fish. Don't know what they are. Probably more mosquito fish, I've had to guess. But there's a lot less water here, a lot less fish. So it might be a little harder to, uh, to find them and catch them. Got him. Mm, nope, that looks to be just another eastern mosquito fish. So there's definitely way less fish over here, but it seems like they are all still mosquito fish. And it started raining a little bit. So this day is not going as planned. I thought I at least would have got something cool by now. But doesn't seem like that's going to happen today. Got one, but what is it? Of course, just a little eastern mosquito fish. Got a couple dozen of these guys today. So I, I don't know what to do. I'll try to find maybe one more spot here that I can access because I don't want to catch these guys for the entire day. Oh, got one. What is this? Oh, new species for the day. Not what I was looking for, but I'll take it. Let's get this guy in the photo tank. A golden top minnow. Yeah, so this is a neat little fish. My first golden top minnow of the day. I have caught these in the past, so not a new one for the life list. But 
at least that gives me hope that there are some other fish species in there besides those gold, um, what was I saying, dollar sunfish and eastern mosquito fish. So cool little catch. Got him. What is this? <sighs> Just a large eastern mosquito fish. So at this point I've more or less given up hope that we're going to get one of the species I am after. But we still got maybe 30 minutes of daylight, so I'll keep fishing and hope that changes. Alright, so this is the first spot that I started in again. Basically going to make a couple more drops, hope that I get lucky, and then we're going to call it a day. So let's see if I can win the lottery here. Ooh, something bigger. Another dollar sunfish. So this spot has a uh, good population of dollar sunfish, which is nice. But Unfortunately, it doesn't seem that there are any blue thing killies here or anything else that I'm after. Got one. What is this little tiny thing? It is an eastern mosquito fish, so rather fitting and appropriate that we ended with the fish we started with and my least favorite fish to catch when I'm micro fishing. So I'll take a quick pick of this guy and I will be back with a quick wrap up. Alright, so unfortunately that is going to do a rather disappointing day. I had really high hopes when I started fishing here about two hours ago of at least getting one new species for my life list and unfortunately it was just my nemesis or nemesi, however you want to say if it's plural, those mos eastern mosquito fish. Anytime you're micro fishing in Florida you're bound to run into them. You just kind of got to hope that there are not as many of those species as the species you're looking for but over here just overly abundant with those eastern mosquito fish. I'm sure there are those bluefin killies and those other species of fish um, that that other guy caught here. Unfortunately, I just couldn't find him today. So this is, does seem like a nice spot. I would like to explore here more. It's not too far away, only about an hour and a half from where I live. So hopefully I can get make my way up here sometime again soon and then find that bluefin killifish or something else pretty cool. So either way, I hope you guys liked it and I will see you next time.